We're gonna, it's a sad story, but we're going to pay tribute to a guy that we both loved. Adore. Loved. Actor Don Knotts, who died on Friday at the age of 81. Known so well, of course, as Barney Fife and Andy and Mayberry, Andy Griffith show. Gosh, we love this thing. I could. I remember Otis, all the guys. I just absolutely adored watching that show. I know, and of course, he, he uh, was on Three's Company later on. But of course, to me, he'll always be Barney Fife because that was one of my very favorite shows. And to this day, it still is. I absolutely adore that show. And Andy Griffith is such a fabulous who, guy. That's who we're going to be talking about Don Knotts with coming up in just a little while. We were talking, uh, we mentioned Barney Barney Fife with the wonderful sheriff, Andy Taylor, a.k.a. Andy Griffith. Don Knotts remembered, but first, this is Today on NBC. Today, the entertainment world is remembering comic legend Don Knotts, perhaps best remembered for his roles as Deputy Barney Fife on The Andy Griffith Show. And landlord Ralph Furley on Three's Company, Knotts died Friday at the age of 81. His half-century career began in radio and included seven TV series, five Emmys, and more than 25 films. As Barney Fife on The Andy Griffith Show, Knotts found TV immortality, starring opposite his best friend, Andy Griffith. The pair's legendary friendship, both on and off screen, spanned a lifetime. Andy Griffith, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Uh, our condolences, Andy. How are you doing? Uh, thank you. It's a, it's a difficult time. Uh, as you just said, I lost my best friend. I'm, I was with him just before he died, and I, he was kind of unconscious. I don't I know that he could hear me, but we all believe he heard my voice. I told him I loved him, and I, I told him, I said, his first name was Jess. Uh, he hated that name, but he told me it once, and so I couldn't help but call him Jesse. I said, Jess, breathe. you got to make this. you got to pull through. Breathe. And you know, I saw his chest heave. And I said, that's a boy. Just keep breathing. Keep breathing. And his shoulder moved. So I believe he heard my voice. Well, uh, Andy, our condolences. Well, he, I, I, I know you met him in, in, in 1955 on Broadway. You had actually heard his voice on his radio show before that. And then, of course, famously, you cast him to be your deputy on, on Andy Griffith. What was it about him that made you think he was perfect for that role? Uh, well, we became friends uh, during the play No Time for Sergeants, and that is when I met him. I heard his, his, his voice, the old man's voice of Wendy Wales on a show called Bobby Benson of the BVRB, and the second, the second rehearsal I said, excuse me, aren't you Barney, aren't you Wendy Wales? And he said, yes, and we became friends. and. You know, time went by, and I didn't see him for a while because I was on um, Broadway again in a play called Destry, and he was on Steve Allen on the West Coast. And then the pilot for the old Griffith show came on the air during that year, I guess about 19, late 1959, early 1960, and Don, Don called me. I was in North Carolina when the show came on. Don called me and said, don't you need a deputy? <laughs> I said, I didn't know you were out of work. Call Sheldon. That's Sheldon Leonard. Right. And he did, and Sheldon hired him, and it turned our show around. He was, he was so amazing, Andy. He had such a wonderful, first of all, ability to perform physical comedy. A and the nervous character, the high-strung character, always willing to make fun of himself. Uh, I mean, he yes. really, it was such a wonderful partnership between the two of you. Uh, everything we did came out of our friendship. Uh, we, <laughs> I see the goat. <laughs> we, uh, we would sit and work on script every Thursday. And when we very first started, when Don had an idea, he would whisper it to me and I would vocalize it. 
But then after a little while, he would just say his ideas. He was a very good writer. Yeah, I don't think a lot of and, people uh, realize that, Andy, that, that, that he really contributed to the writing part of the show. Oh, yes, he did. We didn't. We both did. We, neither one of us had a, a writing card at that time. But we wrote anyway. We wrote because of love. Uh, we wrote because we wanted to make what we were doing as good as we could. And uh, we apparently did. I, I mentioned, uh, Andy, that, that he played these high-strung nervous types, either as Barney Fife or as Ralph Furley. Was he at all like that off screen? No. Not at all. He was very much in con control of himself. Uh, Barney Don. Don was an extraordinarily bright man. He, he knew life. He knew how to get around. He had a, a great admiration of women. And uh, he wound up with a good one. Yeah. His wife, Francie Yarborough Knotts. She was very good to him. Seven TV series, five Emmy Awards, 25 movies. I'll never forget The Incredible yes. Mr. Olympe. And I mean, did he ever think yes. about how, how, was, how was his emotional state before he got very ill? Uh, fine. He, Don, Don at the last, he's, I, I guess you know that all actors are like this. When, when something goes wrong with us, we don't want anybody to know. Uh, when I had my heart operation, I went in the hospital with a different name, and nobody knew right. that I uh, that I was sick. And Don didn't want anybody to know that he was having trouble with his lungs. And they they didn't. We kept it, or he kept it a secret, even from me, for a long time. Andy, just but, in close in closing, how do you think he'd want to be remembered? Uh, as a lovely, funny man who wanted people to laugh and wanted people to enjoy life. Well, Andy Griffith, it's, it's painfully obvious that a piece of you is missing this morning. And we appreciate yes. you taking the time to talk to us. And our condolences it's again. A great, thank you. It's a great pleasure to honor the life of Don Knotts. And we'll be back in a moment. This is today on NBC.